Hi, I'm Nolan Mail from Worthington Distribution, Director of Training, and today we'd like to do a hands-on with the new Lutron Caseta now that we have the bridge available as well. So we've done a video that showed the, the dimmer and the Pico before in the past, and uh, now what's called the, the wireless bridge or interface to connect uh, shading solutions, lighting solutions, time-based events, that is now available and shipping from Lutron and, and Worthington Distribution. So I want to go over a couple of pieces and parts, take a look at the app with you here today. Um, Lutron Caseta is a, an economical solution for lighting control that will allow you um, to get into a customer's home or to, to use a product that may not be at a super high end um, from a cost perspective, but has a lot of functionality with it. So um, with that said, let's take a look at some of the products that are available. Uh, we have a plug-in dimmer. This is how it's actually packaged in a nice retail packaging. Um, it actually comes with a little Pico remote control. And as you can see, this Pico remote control actually fits in a decorator style opening. So if we take a look at this mounted, this is another product from Lutron. This comes with a wall adapter kit. So if you have a single gang, um, let's say a three-way application, we can pull that old switch out, put this device in. And the Pico is actually battery operated. It runs off a, 20, a CR2032 battery. It has a 10-year battery life on it, so it's extremely long. And uh, again, we can gang this right next to any of our other decorator-style devices. Now, um, the Pico that I have here is actually controlling a lamp, so we can turn lamps on and off throughout a home. Um, Caseta uses what's called ClearConnect uh, wireless RF technology. So this communicates wirelessly. When I press this button, it's communicating wirelessly to my lamp plug-in module, my plug-in lamp module right now. Um, the plug-in lamp module has um, a uh, outlet on either side or a receptacle on either side for a lamp module. Um, this will act in tandem, so it's not controlled independently. And what's great with this is you also have local control. So I can turn my light off or I can raise and lower this device right from the local plug-in. So this just plugs into a regular 110 volt outlet um, and is rated for incandescence as well as, CF, as well as dimmable CFLs and LEDs. Um, so that's the plug-in that's available. Um, there is also a dimmer that's available. This is the form factor of the dimmer. It's actually pretty cool because it kind of matches our form factor of the Pico, so it keeps things consistent and, and uh, innovate, um, very intuitive, I should say, for a homeowner to use. So this is the dimmer. This is also rated for incandescent as well as um, LED and CFL loads. And we'll pull this incandescent bulb out right now and I'll show you how well it does perform. Again, always check uh, compatibility with Lutron. They have some awesome solutions or awesome resources that are available at lutron.com forward slash LED. Um, the really unique thing with this is, again, we're dimming this LED down um, it does a really well job at it, turns it off. Um, the really unique thing with this device, as far as retrofit goes, is this is a two-wire dimmer. So we don't even have a neutral in the box here, um, and we're dimming this uh, LED extremely well. So as you can see, there's no flickering, it performs well, and again, this is a bulb that's rated uh, on Lutron's uh, through their uh, testing program. So again, lutron.com forward slash LED to check out compatibility here. Now, as far as um, the bridge goes, this is the, uh, the showcase that we're going to talk about today. So, it, as you can see, it fits in the palm of my hand. On the back of it, we simply have an Ethernet connection, a power connection, and a button. So, as far as programming goes, it's very, very simple. Now, the first thing I did when I opened up uh, the box that has the smart bridge in it, and I'll make a note here, there's two different bridges that are available from Lutron. There is uh, the smart bridge and the smart bridge pro. The differentiator there is the SmartBridge Pro allows us to communicate with Alarm.com for uh, remote control of our lighting and, and shading devices and soon to be uh, HVAC. So um, today we're just looking at the, the regular SmartBridge and when I first pulled the directions out, um, I figured, okay, you know, here are the directions. All right, step one is, is download the, the, the Lutron Caseta app from the App Store or the Google Play. Um, so download that, just search for Lutron Caseta, it'll come right up. And the second thing, okay, you know, um, the, the app's going to walk me through the rest of the setup. I figure, okay, I'll open up the, the directions to, to the next steps. Wait, it's one and two again. Those are different languages. So you literally have two steps that actually come with the bridge to set it up. 
Um, so with that said, we'll take a look at, again, I already plugged my device in uh, and I downloaded the app, so let's take a look at it. So uh, from the app, when we first open it up, it's going to go ahead and connect to my bridge. So uh, wirelessly, I'm on the same network from my Ethernet. Um, I'm wirelessly connected with my iPad here. And as you can see, these are the devices that are included in my system. So I have a shave, for example. I have my plug-in. And then I can actually go ahead and raise and lower my plug-in. Uh, for the actual lighting load, I can turn it on, I can turn it off. And again, that's communicating wirelessly uh, from my bridge out to my devices. So that's how the, the communication is happening there. As you can see, it's extremely fast. So if I put the iPad over here, you can watch. It's super fast as far as um, the reaction times. Um, if the device is highlighted in blue on the iPad, it shows that it's on or, or is open, if you will, for a shade. Um, so for a shading solution, we'll show you a shade that we have here um, on the side. We can control a, a honeycomb or a roller shade. These are the Lutron Triathlon shades. Give us a call if you have questions about those. Um, but you can see, again, the speed is very, very fast as far as it actually reacting uh, to the app itself. So again, this is super simple um, for an end user to, to use. It's very innovative. So if we go back into the app, I'll show you is how easy it is to actually add a device to the system. So let's say, hey, you know, we're gonna pick up and add another dimmer. So what we do is we click on devices, we click on all, and what we can do is, actually, if we go back, we can click add a device, when we click add a device, it, right now it's going to talk to our bridge. And now it's ready to actually add a device. So in this case, our um, dimmer that we have with our LED bulb isn't currently added to the system. So that's what we're going to do right now. As you can see, I have absolutely no control with it. So there's no smoke and mirrors here. This is ex exactly how easy it is to do. So I press my in-wall dimmer. And it shows me exactly what I need to do to enroll my in-wall dimmer. And it actually shows you, if you look carefully, it shows you what the LEDs are actually gonna do after I hold that for 10 seconds. So, what we'll do here is, we'll press and hold this for approximately 10 seconds. And again, this is communicating with our wireless bridge. The LEDs are flashing. And at this point, if we look at our app, the app actually shows us to name the device. So what we're gonna do is, we'll go ahead and name this dimmer. and click done, click done. Now it's adding the device to our bridge. Now, what we also need to do is we want some method, let's say, of local control for that dimmer. So I wanna go ahead and add my Pico to this as well. This is just as simple to do. So from the app, it will actually go ahead, it's gonna finish the setup, it's adding and enrolling this new dimmer to the system. Um, we're gonna go ahead, just add another device quick. In this case, we're actually gonna add Pico now rather than a, an actual dimmer. So we click add a Pico remote. And again, it shows us exactly what we need to do right on the app. So I press and hold the Pico remote. And then about after 10 seconds, the app will actually come back to us and say, hey, I've heard that device. Let's go ahead and name this. So I put the name in. We'll go ahead and name this Pico remote. Um, we'll name it uh, Pico for, for our dimmer, actually. Okay, so Pico dimmer is what we're going to give that a name. Now, in this case, rather than uh, clicking done, we actually click next. So what this is doing is it's setting up the Pico with the wireless bridge right now. And now it wants to tell us what we need to tell the Pico what it should be communicating to all the time. So do we want it to talk to the shade? Do we want it to talk to our plug-in? Uh, or do we want to talk to, to our dimmer? So uh, we can select our dimmer, but hey, you know what? Maybe I have um, an overhead light and a lamp module that I want this, this Pico to control both of those at the same time. I can select both of these devices. I click Next, and this is actually just going to set this up with those devices. And again, this is all done right through the app. It's super easy to set up. Um, basically, anybody that, that has a... Um, iPad, iPhone, Android device will be able to do this. So at this point, my dimmer, again, this was already enrolled before. We can easily turn that on and off super fast. And the other thing I want to show you is sync scenes that we can actually do. So to add scenes, we press this big uh, green button that has a white plus on it. 
And there's two choices. Do I want to have a scene that is scheduled automatically, meaning that I want this to run all the time. So if I tie this into landscape lighting or a porch light that I want to be on uh, throughout the evening and turn off in the morning, I can set that up. Um, or I can have a scene that's manually activated. So we'll do a manually activated scene. We can name this scene, um, let's name the scene Good Morning. So we'll name this Good Morning. We click Next. So it's adding a scene. Now what devices do I want to talk to? Well, you know what? We're going to talk to our dimmer. We want that to go to about, let's say 70%. Say this is the bathroom in the morning. So we'll click Done. Um, so I've added a scene. So that'll be my Good Morning Bathroom scene. Now if I wanted to add other devices to that, I could, I could do so. So I'd select other devices, set those levels for what I want to have happen when I press that scene. So now when I press this scene button, it will go ahead and turn the light on or turn lights or shades uh, to a specific level. Um, when I press this button, it's activating that scene. So it's going to go to that level every single time. So we'll go ahead and shut that off. Um, and then I can also show you how easy it is to actually add another scene that is scheduled. So what day of the week do I actually want this to run? Do I want it to only run on the weekends? Do I want it to run every day? So let's say this is landscape lighting. Uh, we'll have this run every single day. Do we want a particular time of the day that we want this to run? Right now it's showing you the current time. Um, you know, so we can change that to AM. Uh, let's say at 5 o'clock um, PM, we want all of our lights to turn on. Or what we could do is base this off of sunrise. So it knows what location you are when you actually set up the app to begin with, which is easy to do. Um, so you can go ahead and let's say um, 20 minutes after sunrise, we can go ahead and turn all of our landscapes off, landscape lighting off. So that's how powerful this app is and how easy it is to set up. Um, we give that name a scene, that's it, we're done. So as far as an end user interface goes, the app is actually is absolutely awesome. Um, another great product from Lutron. If you have any questions about it, give us a call, 800-282-8864. And I do want to do one other demonstration here. Um, you know, we always like to, to see if we can break something, if you will, when we're talking about wireless. Um, what I did was a test of, I put a, uh, a bridge actually here, a little wireless bridge. I put that in a metal can downstairs, and we have a steel studded commercial building. and. Um, you know, it worked actually. I put that in a metal can and I was able to communicate to my lamp dimmer. Well, you know, what I ended up doing is, let's see if I can really break this thing. I put this in a metal can as well and it still communicated. So, what I can show you, um, this is a metal can. I'm going to go ahead and put this bridge in the metal can. And again, there's no smoke or mirrors, you know, nothing underneath kind of thing. Um, and I can go ahead and communicate to my devices with no problem at all, whether that's a shade, whether that's a lamp module, and again, this wireless bridge is right inside of a metal can, which is a Faraday cage. The wireless is that reliable and that robust that works extremely well. So again, if you have any questions, give us a call. This is Lutron Caseta. We appreciate your time here this morning. And um, if you have any questions, again, 800-282-8864, or feel free to email sales at worththis.com. Thank you.